All right, guys, so first you want to open up the effects panel and then scroll down to audio and click on EQ. Now take channel EQ and drag it on top of your track. And I'm going to click and play what you'd hear without it. On discount that beats every other discount at Bluehost, which is 66% off. Or So pretty dry and scratchy, not the deep bass sound that most of my YouTube videos have. Bluehost that you want to be at. So what I like doing first is going to noise removal. That's not part of channel EQ, that's just part of your sound. By the way, you have to be on the sound icon in the upper right. So it's oh, still going to be kind of and use dry, scratchy, sounds like you're speaking through like a paper cup or something. Let's go down and master the channel EQ. So we're going to click on this button to open it up. And I'll be honest, I don't know what a lot of these mean. Um, I just know that if you have a good ear and you know what your video should sound like, then you can adjust these to make them sound like you're using a super professional microphone. And in my case, I had to just have a bad microphone because I had to record on my MacBook Air. So let's make it sound super pro. I'm just going to start playing. Every other discount at Bluehost, which is 66% off or $2.65 a month. I've used Bluehost for over a year now and I love their services and this discount works for over 60% of people who use our YouTube tutorial videos. So let's jump in and let's see how to get you the best Bluehost coupon discount possible. First you just need to go beneath the video. Alright so we have two different effects here. The first one I think was a bass, the second one was like a treble. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'd love if you did. You can pull them up, down, or sideways video you're watching right now and find where it says here's the link to get 66% off Bluehost right there and there's going to be more instructions that will explain it but I'll show you how to do everything here. You just need to click on this link right here dearblogger.org slash Bluehost and that's my main blog dearblogger. Clicking on the link does two things. One it gives me credit for showing you this deal which is awesome. Thanks so much. But it also, more importantly, make sure you get to the right screen at Blue. So you might need to adjust your dots a couple times if you find a better sound. And if you don't like what you did, you can hit Command-Z and it'll go back to the way it was before. Right screen at Bluehost. Some of those other screens have what's called a cookie embedded in them, which makes the difference. So some of the changes you make are just not going to be good at all. Different and worse for you. So. This is just a default screen at Bluehost that you want to be at. So all we're going to do is click Get Started and proceed like you normally would. We're... All right, guys, our sound is now better. I'm we're going to choose Basic. A lot more content with the click depth select. and quality of it. I'll be honest, that is the extent of my knowledge of sound. I do make a lot of YouTube videos that teach people amazing things, but I'm not trained in music or sound. But I hope that what I showed you there is just enough to get you going with the channel EQ. I'm not going to pretend to know like exactly what each one of these dots symbolizes. You could probably look that up in Google and find an Apple article on it. But uh, as usual, they write as if they're writing to someone who's like 10 times smarter than them or they're just trying to sound smart. So yeah, that's my disclaimer. I hope this helped you get going. And basically what you can do with Channel EQ is have a quick fix for when you have to record with a bad mic and you want to make it sound professional. Another cool thing you can do is you can go ahead and copy the effects from one clip to another. So I'm going to hit Command C or Control C and then you can go to a different video. Alright, and maybe you don't want to just go ahead and do that entire Channel EQ thing again. Then you can just click on that clip that you want to apply your new sound changes to. You can click edit at the top and then paste effects and you'll copy paste your channel EQ settings. Of course there's going to be all kinds of other uh, audio modifications you can make and you could just go you know above and beyond. I would go into those with you now but we would both probably get lost.